Yeah, we used to play a game after it. We used to play a game. We'd turn the lights off in the locker room and throw sneakers at each other as hard as we could. But we'd all we'd all make a deal to just throw them at one kid that we didn't yeah, like. Yeah. So we'd turn the lights <laughs> off and just everyone would just belt this fucking kid. The yeah. whole point of sports is just like psychologically torture somebody. Yeah, just, just find one a kid. Per- just yeah. find one person. Find and one kid whose parents out. are like making them play. Yeah. And just getting his ass. Yeah, we had we had a homeschooler on our baseball team. Oh, disgusting. In eighth grade. Well, now it's going to be the norm. Everyone's no, going to everyone's gonna be weird as fuck. Yeah, true. This dude was a homeschooler. I don't know what the fuck his parents were thinking. They entered him into the uh, school system at like seventh, eighth grade. It was fucking chum, dude. People were, people were like, oh. you just like would see him walk and you're like, what the fuck is up with that kid? Like, oh. I, gotta, I have to throw something at this kid just to see what's going on with him. They put him in in seventh and eighth grade, dude, he, just like, right when he was coming. Dude, he came in with like a Dr. Seuss nerd walk and everyone oh. was like, what the fuck is this? It was to the point hit, a hit list was made. This was like an extreme bully situation. Oh. I mean, dude, he was on a baseball team. So you were just like, dude, people are woofing balls. Like, you'd be on first base. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you'd be at shortstop, and you basically pitch. And you'd be like, <laughs> he made a hit up. list? He made a hit list, yeah. I was, oh. I was number three. You were on the hit <laughs> list? I was number three. Nice, man. Three. I, I made third. That's good. I made good. third on his hit list. In, at, in elementary school, in middle school, they wrote uh, an article in the paper about me being a bully. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Pretty dude. good. That's that counts as like you top got, five on ink? a list. You got I ink? got publication, dude. <laughs> I've only ever gotten negative press, dude. <laughs> well, there was a kid that used to get on our bus and I used to call him uh Arthur. Because he had an Arthur book bag. <laughs> I was being nice to the fucking that's kid. Pretty, that's not bad. I didn't think it was mean, but yeah. I guess the kid was tortured by it, dude. He was tormented <laughs> by <laughs> being called Arthur. <laughs> and one day I had a, the principal call me to the office and had like a sit down and like I had to talk to the kid. I think I talked to the kid's parents. And then like the next month in the school newsletter, it was like bullying handled. And they wrote an article about it. What? Yeah, dude. You gotta it's get like that. we had an eighth grader who was a real dickhead. <sighs> <laughs> you gotta get that. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't even. I was never malicious. I just there was people that like. <laughs> it was just the reactions were so funny, and it was just you couldn't stop like doing it. Of course, that was the kid who punched me in the face before biology. I was just giving him soft touches. You know when you go to give it someone in, uh, a titty twister, but you just soft touch their tits, and they they're like, <laughs> yeah. I hit him. I hit him with a soft touch, and he did like full. Like eighty dollars an hour taekwondo on me. He used karate nerd. He used nerd karate on me, and it, I just he just struck me in the face twice. And I was he like, did a combo on you. He did a combo, dude. <laughs> Literally low knee punch. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then I realized like, oh shit, I think this kid's actually upset. So then I like, well. I kind of started like, all right, dude, I'm going to help you out. But I ended up just getting him in a fight with another kid. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. I remember this. Single yeah, tier. I was like actually trying American. to help him. I was actually trying to help him. I'm like, look, you got to fuck this kid up who was like, actually fucking with him. Yeah. And uh, he got in a fight and lost. And I was, he just like, yeah, his fucking <laughs> ass handed to him, dude. And I was like, oh, shit, dude, you got it. Level nerd. Here's where you are, dude. You're an energy vampire. <laughs> I just figured this out. I am too, dude. There's a show. Uh, you ever see the movie What We Do in the Shadows? Mm-mm. Dude, there's a show. It's on FX. It's on Hulu now. It fucking rules. It's hilarious. It's so funny. But there's a dude who's an energy. He's an energy vampire. So he, the rest of them are like classic vampires. And there's one guy that just looks like a <laughs> dork from an office. And the way he gets his power is he drains you. Oh. So like he'll come in and be like, dilly dilly, how was your weekend? <laughs> and people are just like, oh. and then it'll, it'll cut back to him. And he's like, <laughs> he's just. Stand Island Branch, can you hear me? We're here, Colin. Okay, great. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, for the Sigourney Otis project, we got... How was everyone's weekend? I have the power of a thousand cowboys running through my veins right now. The best part is he... <laughs> Like, he'll just start a fight and then sit in the room next door and just be like, yes, yeah, like, all the negative energy. And I was like, damn, dude, I'm definitely just an energy vampire. <laughs> like, just start a fight, and leave, and sit there and hear screams and be like, yes. Yeah. I had, like, a vivid memory of reading. I remember reading the science book and seeing Homo sapiens when I was little and being like, oh, my God. Oh my God, she's gonna say homo in school tomorrow. <laughs> and just like waking up, be like, uh, and, like <laughs> eating my breakfast and be like, fuck science classes third period. <laughs> I remember waiting for like 24 hours and hear her say homo sapiens and be like. <laughs> Actually, fifth grade, we had somebody come in to give us like a sex ed class time, type oh, thing. Fuck. And I remember writing a question so he would have to say gay. Oh, I wrote a question. I said, can, can boys like other boys? And he was like, now. 
Shane, he then he walked over to me and was like, "Did you write that?" Because he knew it was me. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes." And he was like, "I had to stay in character, dude. I had to be like, yes, I wrote it." And he was like, "Do you really want to know that answer?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> he was like, "Those are called homosexuals." <laughs> I, was just, I had to like stay in character, like, <laughs> "Oh, how about that? That's something you don't learn every day." <laughs> Which is so funny because that dude obviously knew I was being an asshole. <laughs> he just had to watch a fifth grader pretend to be like, <laughs> "Yes." <laughs> it's crazy we both have that origin story, <laughs> like trying to make someone say "gay." <laughs> like I read the book, you go to my, bro- I go to my brother, I'm like, "Dude, what's a bit, what this about?" He's like, "Yeah, dude, Homo sapiens. You're a Homo sapien." It's like, "I'm a fucking Homo sapiens." He's like, "You're a fucking Homo sapiens." I'm like, "Fuck, dude." Dad, am I a homo sapien? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't think my dad would even know who that was. If I was like, am I a homo sapien? He'd be like, hey, No, son on, of mine. On, come on. Come on. Be a goddamn homo Go sapien. sit down. Don't be a smart ass. You've been hanging out with your sisters too much. I remember being in middle school in class being like, I have to masturbate <laughs> now. And then I'd get up to go to the bathroom and then I'd go, I'd get up and I'd have a massive boner and instantly I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? And then I would just go back and to the And then you'd bus. go back to the kitchen where your mom was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> you were definitely homeschooled, dude. I was not homeschooled. <laughs> All right, quick. What middle school did you go to? Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't even know. You were absolutely homeschooled. I was not homeschooled. <laughs> Let me show you my yearbook photo. Please. I, I actually can't. I have no idea how I'd find that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane thing to say. That's like that has to be like the 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 best like slight insult. Just ask oh, someone yeah. if they're homeschooled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I don't know a single person who's normal who is homeschooled. Except me. You. You were yeah, homeschooled. Normal. I was homeschooled, obviously. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole. I was the captain asshole. of the football team. Yeah. <laughs> homeschooled. I was in the backyard running drills. You walked on. My dad was like, someday you could be a captain if you keep doing this. <laughs> doing ladder drills in the backyard. We yeah, had a high yeah. school baseball coach who was like playing catcher like in practice. Got hit right in the arm. Arm like exploded. Really? Shattered. You were a high school baseball player. No. Just, just got made his way around watching. the town. Oh, he was watching. watching from your window. <laughs> <laughs> from your bedroom. Just... <laughs> he was on the chain link. Yeah. <laughs> One day I'll be a real boy. <laughs> One day I'll ba- play baseball. 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 <laughs> got home. Like, Mama. Mom, what's baseball? <laughs> baseball is the devil. <laughs> I invented baseball.